that's a novelette. That is a novelette. That's, that's a novelette. That's really novelette. good, man. I just, I love yeah. that lick. That's I love that lick. Blip, blip, it freaks blip, me out blip, when it goes blip, to the. Blip, 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 blip. Blip. I just came up with that. I just don't that, know what to I play with that. But it's it cool, man. No, Bruce, you just play blues. Well, it take it in, put it it's up, take black it up. and it's box shaped and it makes an overdrive sound. Hence the fact it is called the black, black box. box overdrive. Right on, to right on. Ch -ch 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 is that was that not black box? Gonna get up, gonna get up. Or was, was that it? someone else? I got no right idea. on time. Did they do that song? Gonna get up. I think I think the reason why it's called black box box is a oh, right on time. Was, was that, that not black box? Was it? What's that something? I got all the like little box, big box, little box. Put it in the that cover. was red box. Was that? Snouse. Snouse. Uh, yeah. Look, come on, Pete. You you uh, you well, tell the story. So when I went, you know, I've I've seen these kind of out there on the internet. Out there, people have gone me 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 black box, me 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 me, and like, what's that? What's that? What's that? And uh, so, but I went to uh, down to do my pedal board with uh, Mick and Dan. Hey, Mick Dan here. Mick that here. Show. Uh, and Joshua who makes these pedals, had made the journey uh, from Denver, Colorado. Uh, he's been to the uh, guitar show in Birmingham. Ah, uh, right. And he, he was just coming over to see a few people, you know, hang out a bit. And then he was, he was there when I went to do my, uh, my pedal board build. And, uh, and uh, you know, lo and behold, he just was like, here, check these pedals out. And, and, and here they are, and they're really good. And I was like, I think we should just get onto this stuff. Um, and he's made these since 2013, I think. He's done them. He started in a kitchen somewhere in Brooklyn. Hands, he hand wires everything himself, and and it's basically his take on the classic blues uh, breaker. Right. Marshall blues breaker. Cool. Uh, and that's the black box on it. That was yeah. the black box as well. Black box, well, black box. I I spoke to Josh uh, after Pete sort of hooked us up. And yeah, he's basically by the sounds of things like one man band yeah. making these cool pedals um, and selling them all himself directly. Yeah. And I think Anderton's is up. We're either the first dealer in the world or we're the first dealer outside the USA. I can't remember. But yeah. anyway, so we are, we thought, come on then, let's let's plug these in. And if Mick and Dan love them, then you normally know that you're going to well, be that, on to a that, winner. That, that's it, exactly, because they um, used them and they were like, yeah, it's great, you know. So there are, we've got two versions of the black box here. Uh, I believe over time, I believe uh, fly. Josh has done uh, uh, three versions of this, kind of one that sits in between. But they're, yeah. they're fundamentally all sort of derivatives of this sort of black box. So yeah. what I, I've, you can see I've taken the back off this. And the reason I wanted to show you this is Look essentially... That. That's neat, It's man. very neat, isn't it? So <laughs> if you go inside, you've got this little five-way dip switch here, which enables me to put this pedal into... Two, ver two types of overdrive mode, a standard high gain mm -hmm. and a classic gain, or I can have it as a straight clean boost, and I've got a, a, a tone, like a, a, a bright or smooth switch on there. Now, so that's basically that black box. This one, the Pro Mod version, yep. these four switches on the outside essentially allow you to, to change everything I have to get into the inside of this to change, I can now change on the outside. So inside it's not a different pedal. It's simply you adjust the whether or not it's going to be a drive pedal or a clean boost with this yeah. one, the two different types of drive mode with this one, uh, the bright and smooth with this one, and uh, it does have one extra, yeah. like a deep or regular. Tight. Deep or tight, tight. sorry. So tight. really it doesn't matter tight. which pedal we demo to you here because they're kind of the same. There's like a 20 pound price difference as to whether you yeah. want the switches on the outside or the switches on the inside with this, this is, one this being is cheaper. clever you know if you want to if you're the guy that likes to just twiggle around a bit but i'm sure you'll just set that to something and go that, there it is you know uh, do you know what? it's funny thing. you say that isn't it because when i when i was when we ordered this i just went well surely everyone will just pay the extra for the switches yeah but now that i see them side by side i kind of think there will be some guys and i potentially will be one of them that'll just go no i think i'd rather just find my sound no you definitely and not you'll bugger it up be, but anyway yeah yeah, yeah, yeah so yeah. Should we take you through the types of sounds that you can get out of this? And we'll use Pete's pedal for the demo because it's easier for me to switch the different modes in and out. Yes. So, <laughs> we've got the quick start guide here. Um, it does appear that it's just as well we've got this, this uh, manual because it does appear that, that some of these controls are interactive and some only do things in certain modes and exactly. blah, blah, blah. Yeah. So, what we are going to do, though, is we're going to start in Power. standard overdrive Remember mode. Remember, 
Yes, power nine or eighteen volt, up to you. Um, so we're going to start. We're going to start in standard drive mode, and we're going to leave. I think the deep and deep and smooth or deep and bright, Mr. Pete. Just leave them up. Deep and in, smooth, then yeah. that'll be all right. So. <laughs> Uh, gain is uh, in overdrive mode obviously sets the amount of gain and in clean mode sets the amount of uh, boost. Yeah. Boost. Volume is volume and that always works. Now boost, boost. Boost sets the amount of boost but only in standard mode. So yeah. obviously as soon as you go to clean boost mode, clean, clean boost, boost mode, mode, this is redundant. <laughs> clean boost mode. Uh, presence obviously is a treble control. Tone, I'm guessing is tone. Why does it not tell me? Oh, I see. Gain and boost work in conjunction to shape the EQ contour. So with gain high and boost low, this gives more articulated highs and tighter lows. Tight. And with boost high but Move. gain low, we go smoother highs and fuller lows. Okay, cool. So that's Full enough of now, I think, for us to just crack on. Righty, let's do what he suggests and let's try these two basic kinds of drive. So one with high gain and low boost, and then we'll flip it the other way. So sure, here's the clean first. the dry signal through there can't you with the sort of the gainy overtones yeah, I like it um, and let's try it the other way around now is really quite odd in the sense that it's the more you turn the gain up absolutely the more of the sort of the slightly cleaner drier kind of tone comes through maybe that's what he's talking about with it being more articulated because yes. it's not it's, yeah. it's not got that fuzzy no. vibe that some but it's it's not it's not doing what I'm kind of used to like a gain control doing so I think I, I think we're just gonna have to tweak and Clean signal through, yeah. definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Am I playing small in the water? Because <laughs> that's the tone I'm getting. I'm getting yeah. that, you know, if I take the re reverb down a bit, I'm going like. I'm getting that old yeah. school yeah, old 70s school. rock yeah. tone. You know what I mean? It's, that so this is, it's got a fussy kind of thing this is the, the end. I love this it. This is the classic mode now, which I think disengages the boost and presence. So let's just have a little listen to it. Okay, what now. did the presence do just before we... It just wants to go, doesn't it? Yeah. And that that is over a totally clean amp. We might try and gun 
the V40 a bit yeah. just to sort of see how it works. Yeah, anyway, boost. so that's the uh, standard mode, classic mode. Now, as I said, without these two, let's have a little listen to what that sounds like. <laughs> Sounds good with a single. When it's single coil up. Surprising how much the, the, the tone control adds in more gain. If you listen, um, if I take it down, I mean, obviously it's treble as well. I think it just adds in top you think end. It's just top end. Yeah, it yeah, sounds like it's adding in gain to me. But anyway, so the other dip switch then is where we just want this as a, as a classic boost. So again, if you want to just use this as a straightforward boost into your driven amplifier, boost. Um, you yeah. can. Uh, so I just want to see. Yeah. So. Good That's sound. the victory with no pedal. That is good, isn't it? And then if I, so I've got this in classic mode, I think. So let's just take the gain down a bit here. It fattens it right up. Let's see if it's see kind of what it how it responds. Works really well with those kind of amps. Um, Try it so that you're driving it with a uh, your PRS and gnarring it a bit so I'm more. I'm in the I'm in the uh, the rift. The rift, and that needs to be cranked pretty high yes. to get any drive out of it. So. That's just, that 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 just is Oof. awesome, isn't it? When it does that, can we just try something really quickly? You can try anything I, you like. I, <laughs> you say that. You if gonna I stack just, it with something? Or no, what? what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna find. So I'm just gonna figure out where my. So I'm now I'm turning the volume down, okay, and then. Oh my gosh! So I'm turning the volume down on the pedal. Oh, I see. But 
a lot of people, a lot of people said, oh, I've got a you know 100 watt head or 50 yeah, watt yeah, amp yeah. at home. What do I do? So I was, my suggestion was just to take a pedal in front, turn the volume down, mm -hmm. see what it does. <laughs> Still got this in clean boost mode. I think we've just got it in straight for clean oh, have boost. We? Okay. I think so. It's great. Oh. I mean that that is loud is that, now. Is that loud this now? Hit. That's very loud. Yeah, so you know you're using it yeah. to I'm using to attenuate the amp. Yeah, you know. yeah and drive it. I've just put and the preamp gain in. Yeah, the other way around. Yeah. That's great, man. Ooh! Well, well I think it's just a question of people coming in and trying them out. Yeah, try them out. Check out the Snouse website. There's loads of other YouTube videos online. I, I'm sure Dan and Mick will do something on the pedal show as well. Absolutely. Anyway, there you go. I hope you've enjoyed this. Uh, links in the description below. Yeah. Uh, good luck to Josh and the Snouse thing. Uh, yeah, he's a cool dude, man. Yes, Go follow him on Instagram. Guy. He takes some amazing photos as well. Does he? Yeah, he's All right. a great So there we are. We'll jam out and we'll see you in another video soon. Thank okay. you. Bye.
my god. <laughs> Your worst nightmare. Does this? <laughs>